Junior Achievement goes into classrooms around the state with lessons in financial literacy, work and career readiness, and entrepreneurship. They do have an upcoming event to look forward to. Chad's going to join us with more. Hey, Chad, thanks for being here. Good morning. Thanks yeah, for having me. Of course. So tell us about Junior Achievement. Yeah, so to, to be as succinct as possible, Junior Achievement uh, essentially supplements traditional education with uh, financial readiness, readiness, entrepreneurship, and um, career readiness programming as well to sure. students to create and own their own economic success once they leave the classroom. Yeah, and I like what you said about it being a, a support to the school systems already. Why do you think those things are uh, need that extra boost? Right, I think uh, part of the, the, one of the big things for junior achievement is that we found there's a little bit of lack of financial literacy in traditional classrooms. I know mm -hmm. I didn't learn mm -hmm. it Same. as much myself. Right. Um, so that's a big um, kind of jumping off point or kickstart for a lot of those. So filling those educational gaps and again supplementing the traditional education is a, is a huge role for us. Absolutely. Yeah. Can yeah. you talk about this event that's coming up? Yeah, I would love to. Um, so next Friday, September 13th, we'll be hosting our annual swing for JA over at Top Golf in Rogers. Um, so I work over there on the other side of things as well. Okay. Um, so, so you're like double duty. Essentially, you're, yeah. You're yeah, and, and you're, you're repping today. I so am, you're, of your golf, golf, top golf shirt. Uh -huh. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I don't know if, how familiar you guys are with the top golf, but we have a, a very specific scoring style that mm -hmm. very closely resembles a traditional tournament. Um, so each bay is kind of a team, and then we'll have competition there. Um, so not only a lot of fun playing golf, but obviously supporting JA and their cause. All of the funds uh, raised go directly to their programming, um, and those are offered at no cost to the students that are involved. You know, when I think about golf, I, it's all technical, and I'm like, man, I, I've never owned uh, clubs, so I get nervous about it. But at Top Golf, it's different. It's kind of like... I don't know, liken it to bowling or something like that, where you go out and you kind of, it's a little bit more festive. Yeah. As you're, somebody you're who recently me. played top <laughs> golf, yes. uh, not, not easy. Not easy if you're not a golfer. Right. But lots of fun. Right, right. Um, yeah, I'm not a, a traditional golfer myself either. <laughs> um, but it is a lot of fun, and we do, yeah, cast a little bit of a wider net compared to those traditional tournaments where you don't have to be a pro golfer, you don't have to be a hardcore golfer, you can still come out and have fun and support a great cause while you're doing it. Absolutely. Yeah. And I know that uh, Top Golf has kind of become a destination for folks who are looking to do something a little bit mm -hmm. fun, raise funds for their respective organizations. And is that something that you guys pride yourself on to have and host, um, you know, nonprofits out there with their events? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, as, a, as a brand, brand wide across the country, we now have 100 venues. We just opened our 100th. Um, and yeah, I personally um, am from this area, born and raised in Rogers. So love getting involved with the nonprofit organizations and helping them raise the money that they need to make an impact in our community and statewide. Um, so that's why I was super excited. I'm a new board member for JA. So um, I'm very excited to play that dual role that you kind of uh, mentioned earlier. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Can you give us those details one last time on this event? Yep. So the event will take place next Friday, September 13th from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Um, and we have some new aspects this year as well. We have a hole-in-one contest for a chance to win $10,000. And we're also doing a, a wine poll this year as well, which is something new for those the non-golfers who may want to participate. Okay, very thank cool. You so Chad, much. thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you for having me. Absolutely, yes.